A block of mass 50 kg is pulled on a frictionless floor by a force of 210 newtons directed at 30 degrees to the horizontal. If the block moves 3 meters, what is the work done by the applied force? So, to be able to calculate the applied force, we first need to break down what we've been given. We are using this diagram that we have here. So this block moved the distance of uh, 3 meters. So let's just show the distance here. From this point, it's a distance of 3 meters. Okay. Then, we've been told that there's an angle of uh, 30 degrees with the horizontal. So let's just include it here. Suppose this was being pulled with a force maybe here. Then we know that with the horizontal, these are horizontal here. There's an angle of 30 degrees. Let's just replace it with theta. So now that we have this, we can replace this uh, with uh, the components of this force. So if this force is F, of which we've been given, the force is 210. Uh, the X component, which you can find here in the X axis, So the x component will be f cos theta. And the y component, which is found here, this will be f sine theta. Okay. So to be able to answer our first question, first let's break down the forces that are acting on this object. So on this object, we have the normal force, which is, of course, going in the upward direction. This is our normal force. We have gravitational force, which is of course pointing downwards. This is our gravitational force, or the weight force. Let's write it like this. The surface is frictionless, so there is no friction. To answer the first question, part A. The work done by the applied force. Now remember, work done is given by the formula force multiplied by distance cos theta, of which cos theta is the direction of uh, uh, the, the versus the direction in which uh, the object is moving in. So, the work done, the force will have been given 210, the distance is 3, and the uh, cos, this is cos 30 degrees. So, let's see what we get as a work done. So, this gives us 210 times 3 times cos 30. We're getting a work done of 545.6. 545.6 joules. Part B. The work done by the Earth's gravitational force. So, same formula, work done is equal to the gravitational force. Uh, so, let's just say gravitational force like this, multiplied by distance cos theta. Okay. So, the gravitational force of which that will be our mg. Okay. Gravitational force will be mg. Distance, we'll just use d as it is. Cos, now, what is the angle between the direction of the force and the gravitational force? So, we can see that they meet at right angles. In case you don't see the right angle we're talking about, is this one. The distance the displacement and the gravitational force. That angle created is a right angle. So since it's a right angle, it means that the angle between these two is simply 90. So where there's theta, we replace it with 90 degrees, meaning that our work done is zero joules. Now, how come in the first one we replace it with 30? Because the force is acting in the direction of the displacement, it's F cos theta. So theta in this case is 30. Now, this time around, uh, the force acting on this object, we're talking about gravitational force. So between gravitational force and the displacement, the angle between them is 90. So work done by gravitational force is zero. For part C, work done by normal force. So normal force, we know that normal force, uh, we just say normal force like this, course, the distance, distance, cos, theta. Again, between normal force and the distance, the angle between them is 90 degrees. So the work done by the normal force will also be zero joules. 
So, what is the total work done on this particular object? There's no work done by gravity. There's no work done by the normal. There's only work done by the applied force. Again, there's no work done by friction because the surface is frictionless. So, we just sum the energies that we found. So, meaning that uh, the total work done, we can just say, total work done is just what we found in part A, which is 5, 4, 5.6 because you know that the work done by these others were just getting zeros. So if we add the zeros, nothing will change. So there we have it. This is how we solve this particular question. Thank you very much.